Right, hello guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, first of all, you're going to be seeing in the background an 8 and 9 gameplay with the Ram 7, and this gameplay is actually from a long, long time ago, which is, this is, I believe, from just after Season 1. You can tell by the levels, you can tell by how graphically better the game looks. Okay, this is something that you're going to see, it's quite crazy. If you compare this game, or the way this gameplay looks, compared to videos now of, like, other YouTubers even uploading, You'll see that visually Modern Warfare did look a lot more different, looked a lot more bright, looked a lot more vibrant. And that's because they've obviously been down downscaling the game since launch, which I can't understand why. Maybe it's to make the game more stable, which it hasn't really worked that well, at least in my opinion. Especially with, if you guys have seen my last video, you'll see how stable the game is from my point of view. But yeah, today's video is going to be about Modern Warfare. And specifically, has Modern Warfare improved? or declined since launch? Now this is a question I'm going to be answering and like kind of explaining myself as to like what I think, whether or not I think Modern Warfare has improved or declined since launch, but also I'm asking you guys the question because I want to know your thoughts and opinions. I want to know what the game is like for you because like, everyone has a different experience, has a different viewpoint of Modern Warfare. But I want to know the overall majority, like I want to know what your guys opinion is at this stage of the game with Warzone being out, with the updates we've had for Modern Warfare, I think this is a fair time to ask the question, has Modern Warfare improved or declined since launch? So feel free to put down in the comment section below what you think and whether or not you think it's improved or declined. But for now, I'm going to answer it quite bluntly, which is I'm going to say that I don't think Modern Warfare has improved since launch. And if anything, I do think there has been a decline. And this gameplay does help prove that as a sense, as I've just explained, they have been downscaling the graphics of this game. And again, you can compare the graphics of this gameplay or to one of my other gameplays or to even a current YouTuber's or a other YouTuber's gameplay right now. You'll see that the maps looked a lot better, like everything looked a lot more visually better. And this is something that I think has happened since season two, really, or just after season one. I do think the game has went on a downward spiral and I don't know what that's because of. I don't know why they've went down the route of like downscaling things like that. Maybe it's to make the game more stable, like I said, but that's something that I haven't seen happen, really. I haven't seen the game be more stable, and we'll discuss a lot of other issues as well. Because you guys know from my other video that I did rant about the playlist update. Because, for instance, they have taken out Ground War for this week, which was the only game mode in multiplayer that I played whatsoever, which is obviously the gameplay you're seeing right now from a long, long time ago. Now, they did replace it with another version of Ground War, which is Realism Ground War. Now, I've already made my ran and reasons as to why I won't play Realism Ground War and why I don't enjoy it. But you can check that video out if you want to, to see my reason for that. But it's just a not a game, not a good game mode, it's not something I want to play. And because of that, this week, I haven't been playing. I have not touched Modern Warfare whatsoever. Ever since recording that Realism Ground War gameplay, I haven't loaded up Modern Warfare once. Main reasons for that are simply, I've completed the Battle Pass, so I have nothing to grind for. I'm level 155, so there's no levels to grind for, and to be honest, getting level 155 means absolutely nothing in this game. That's something that kind of annoys me with this game, which is, when you grind and when you go to get stuff, there's not actually that much to get, okay? Even in the Battle Pass, you get the two weapons for the for the what, month, the three months, or however long the Battle Pass, I believe it's actually like two or three months these Battle Passes last, which is kind of annoying, because I have been playing COD Mobile of all things, and they get a Battle Pass pretty much every month, or a season co or a content update, every single month which is crazy they're on like season eight and we're on what season four which is just unbelievable but yeah so basically there's a lot of things that are wrong with this game in my opinion and things that i've been annoyed with such as the playlist update taking away things like grandma the, the way they go about playlist updates doesn't make sense to me i don't understand it they've done it all throughout the game cycle again i made a video on this so i'm not going to bring up that point too much because there are other points i want to get to which is Another reason why I haven't played this week is I've had connection issues since the most recent update. You'll see in this gameplay, it's everything's perfect, everything's fine. My, my connection hasn't changed since this video, you know. My speeds are still the same, I'm still on a wired connection, I still have double open NAT types. I still live in the UK, you know, I haven't moved house since, like, this gameplay. And you can see how clean and well this game plays. Like, my hit detection is good, the connection is clean, everything's working perfectly normal, the frame rate is fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this gameplay. But if I could have this type of gameplay, I would probably say that Modern Warfare is, was in a decent spot. You know, I'd say that Modern Warfare might have improved if they did a few changes. But they haven't, you know, the game has declined. Like, for me now, when I go to play the game, and as I've showed in clips previously, 
I've frozen in place. I get the little symbols at the side saying I've got Paculos in that. And again, nothing on my side has changed connection wise. So I don't understand this. It's something to do with the game. I don't know what it is they've done with the game since since season two, really. But it's been more prominent for me in season four. What are we on? Season four, I believe. I don't even keep track anymore. I just know that they bring up a power pass every so often. But basically, the connection has got worse and worse throughout the game cycle. And I don't know if they've even tried to make attempts to actually make it better. It doesn't seem like it. But for me, the game is almost unplayable. I haven't actually tested it since the most recent up well since that i got that realism ground war gameplay because since then again i haven't played the game just because of the connection issues and other various factors such as cheaters and hackers i could do a whole 20 30 minute video on cheaters and hackers quite easily i could literally go get a gameplay in the next five minutes of someone cheating and hacking and upload that quite easily it's that ridiculous of how easy it is to run across a cheater or hacker in warzone now there isn't specific i'm going to talk about because i am talking about modern warfare and I like to keep the two separate. Warzone and Modern Warfare, in my opinion, are two separate games. I know they're both based off the same mechanics, the same guns, pretty the same characters, all that stuff. But Warzone, as far as we know, or the, a few little leaks have come out, that when Treyarch get hold of their game, or release their game, which is going to be probably Black Ops Cold War, again, it's not confirmed, confirmed, but there are some leaks around. There's stuff about the Red Door and that appearing on, on uh, Xbox and PS4. So we're getting close to some... Black Ops, I'd say, reveal, like a, a Treyarch Call of Duty reveal, will be coming soon. And when, when that does, I will uh, speak on that and make a video about that. But until then, I'm going to leave the leaks around, you know, and go let you guys search for them for yourselves. But yeah, so Warzone and Modern Warfare are two separate things. And I believe Treyarch are going to take over Warzone and do their thing with Warzone. So I like to keep the two separate because this is the question specifically about Modern Warfare. So if you like to take it as anything, take it as a Modern Warfare multiplayer video like whether or not you think modern warfare multiplayer has improved or declined since launch but i'm going to also talk about in-game like things that like in-game mechanics in-game how do i put it the the meta of the game for instance the same guns are still at the top you know as much as the update did a few changes okay when they made that update they did they did do a good job of bringing one new gun into the meta and i mean one new gun which is the foul the foul has been incredibly pro incredibly prominent in multiplayer as a recent due to due to its time to kill now you know they increase the damage of supposedly making the one shot headshot potential better but they actually increase the upper torso as well which makes the thing an absolute machine now so the foul is actually a really good gun in multiplayer now but it's still not the most prominent gun in my opinion you still got people using the m4 you still got people using the mp5 and this has been the same thing since launch and if you guys play search and destroy You'll understand that the 725 is actually still, I wouldn't say overpowered, but still prominent, okay? Let's just say it's kind of annoying and still a very, very good gun. And for Search and Destroy specifically, it is an absolute monster. And they actually, uh, I believe they buffed the, what do you call it, shot? I can't even remember what it's called. But the one that shoots at the far range, I've forgotten the name of it completely. But basically, that's made the 725 quite strong again, if you know how to use it. So, realistically, since the launch of the game... The meta hasn't really changed, you know? Some guns have kept come in because they're obviously new guns, like the Gru and that, are quite easy and good to use. But ultimately, we still had the M4 and the MP5 being at the top. Even with the, the nerfs, you know, they did change no stock a little bit, but that could be easily countered by just using a Compensator instead of the Monolith Expressor that people were using. So again, it's still not that much of a change. It's still M4 central, it's still MP5 central. You got people using the foul a little bit now. The kilo is a little bit into play, but again, that was still into play in launch. But the main guns are still there. They're still at the top. It's still the best guns to use by a mile. You know, if I have someone who's using an M4 against me and I get annoyed by it, I will pull out an M4 myself. That's kind of where the M4 is at this point. It's just the top of the chain gun. It's so easy to use. Everyone has it. Everyone uses it. So realistically, the meta of the game hasn't changed in the multiplayer. Now for Warzone, as much as I don't want to speak about it, it has changed quite a bit. But that's because people are finding out niche things and there are stupid things coming to the game now. Like, for instance, the Gruul was the best in that, which somehow, you know, it, it supposedly got a nerf and is still one of the best guns in Warzone. It has been replaced recently because people have now found the uh, Bruin or whatever it's called. is actually an insane gun in Warzone, so that has now taken over and is actually ridiculously overpowered. I mean ridiculously overpowered. But yeah, overall, the meta of the game hasn't even changed since launch. Even with... A, 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 how would I put it, an update to the guns without a 
they tried to like overhaul the game, I guess, in a way. Not really, because it didn't really touch too many things. Like, I don't think the M4 got nerfed since like season two. I believe it did pick up a nerf like one or two times, but it's still easily one of the best guns in the game. And the same with the MP5. The MP5 picked up one most recently, but it's still a dominant gun and actually did get a slight buff on its 10mm ammo. So they didn't really do much. Again, the meta of the game has still been the same. And then another thing, which is just the playstyle of the game. They haven't done much to really to change the playstyle. Yes, they've added new maps like Shoe House and that, but ultimately those those maps can still be camped on. You know, they're just smaller maps that make it easier to camp on still. It's not like, impossible to camp on Shoe House. You know, for instance, people do a lot of their challenges by going up against that brick wall and just sitting there for headshots and stuff quite easily. You know, camping is a big problem in this game. What have they done to change that? Nothing. And obviously that's because they have tried to cater to the newer players. So there's a few reasons as to what I what I think of Modern Warfare and like reasons as to why I believe Modern Warfare hasn't really improved at all since launch, you know? And I kind of want to know your guys' opinions. I want to know, give me give me reasons as to why, you, if you do believe Modern Warfare has improved since launch, let me know why you think Modern Warfare, or what has made Modern Warfare become an improvement since launch to you. Because personally, I feel like the game has declined from a connection standpoint, uh, obviously the cheating and hacking situation, the way they go about updates, uh, the updates they have done to the game, four different things right there. There's probably many more I could name, but I haven't got time to actually name them all. There's a lot of reasons as to why I think Modern Warfare hasn't improved since launch. And I'm sure you guys will struggle, whoever, if you do think that Modern Warfare has improved to, since launch, I'm sure you guys will struggle to tell me many reasons as to why you think it's improved. So yeah, this gameplay is going to wrap up, but let me know down below in the comments section, do you think Modern Warfare has improved since launch? If you do, let me know why. And even if you think it's declined, let me also know your reasons as to why you think it's declined and what makes you think it's not gotten better since launch. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe and notifications on, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye!